So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. So today I have invited Kunal Garodi for the live Power BI mock interview. So let's begin with the interview round. And before that, please do like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new to it, and you can also follow me on Instagram Learn with Gigs. Hi Kunal, uh, can you please briefly introduce yourself first? So hello, I am Kunal Garodi. I have completed my uh, graduation in mechanical engineering. Among the very time, I found myself interested in data science and its related, related domains. So I started learning about it more by developing skills in Excel, Power BI, Python, and SQL. So uh, I also did various projects in uh, these domains, like uh, which includes Business Insights 360 projects for uh, Power BI. Uh, I have also created some uh, various reports and dashboards using Excel. So how many projects you have built in Power BI on your own till now? So uh, I have built around uh, three projects in Power BI. So among them, uh, Business Insights 360 is the biggest project, which includes uh, some real-time insights of the uh, company. So if there is any kind of business case study given to you, right? So how do you approach that business case study? What are your initial steps and how do you do the initial steps in Power BI? Okay, so uh, according to the business case study, I will firstly understand what is, what is the problem statement about, about it and uh, what are the required data we need for this uh, business case study to solve. After uh, generating, uh, gathering the all insights and data about this uh, business case study, I will then uh, again uh, uh, aggregate the data into various parts so that I will only gather the useful data, which is useful for data analysis and uh, so that our uh, Power BI reports should not get uh, uh, more uh, more in the size and our speed of the reports is also maintained. After gathering uh, data, I will uh, do some standardization of the data and see if there is any uh, null values or any uh, unclean data present in this data sets. After that, I will start to solve some uh, business problems and divide this uh, whole business case study into smaller parts, which I will uh, uh, try to solve each by step by step. And then among this uh, very question, every question, I will uh, prepare or build some uh, visualizations to give the insights and uh, answers to these questions to the stakeholders. Okay, so suppose uh, you have pulled few tables in Power Query, in Power BI. So if you found that, okay, there are some duplicates, or if you found that there are a lot of duplicates in one of the tables, how will you handle this kind of situation? Okay, so I, if I found that uh, there are a lot of duplicates in the data, so firstly I will uh, uh, see how many percentage of duplicate uh, entries are there present in the data. If they are uh, less than the five percent or something, so how will I you will check that? To, how will you check that that the duplicate data is less than five percent? Uh, in the Power Query editor, we can see that. Uh, so by uh, check, uh, going to the uh, each column and uh, checking if uh, it's uh, there is one option in the power query right so we can check the quality of the data and uh, also we can uh, get the specification of the uh, particular column of data in in the descriptive format and again i will ask the stakeholders if it is uh, feasible to remove this uh, duplicate data or do i need to replace it with some uh, mean median or mode as per the data uh, quality or data uh, definition. Okay. What do you mean by referencing a table in Power Query? Okay, so referencing means that there is a one uh, table which we have already imported in the Power Query. So by doing the referencing, we make a copy of this table so that this table uh, which we are again going to reference will not consume more, more data and the, all the basic for, formats of the data will be uh, taken from the main uh, table. Okay, well now suppose you have three columns in one of the tables in Power Query and those three column names is first name, middle name and last name. Now you have to generate a third column with full name column. Okay. So if suppose in the chat box, if you can see there are entries like this. Okay. So you have uh, entries like Saurav Kumar, Sahu, Shashank, Nal Singh, Kunal, Nal Garudi. So you have entries like this in first, middle and last name column. How will you generate the third column with complete name, which will actually have values like Saurav Kumar, Sahu, Shashank, Singh, Kunal, Garudi. Okay. So uh, we can try one approach of uh, merging these uh, three columns into one column to form uh, a separate column. But uh, here is one uh, issue that in the second and third entry, there is a null present. So we can either replace this null value with the uh, blank space. And after uh, replacing it with blank, blank space, we can merge uh, three columns. And after merging these three columns, we will eliminate this blank space, extra blank space, which are available in the some columns by using trim. Okay, so lastly, you will do trim of the final column that you will generate. Yes. Okay, so are you sure with your answer? Yes. So suppose you have loaded your tables in Power BI, so you have to create a data model. So how will you differentiate between a dimension table and a fact table? 
okay so uh, dimension table uh, contains the descriptive uh, qualities of the data and they uh, always have some specific kind of uh, approach in them while as the fact tables contains the quantitative data inside it okay so you said that fact tables contains quantitative data so for example suppose uh, in one of the dimension tables uh, quantitative data is there in that dimension table also so will you still consider it a dimension table or will it become part of fact table we can either uh, eliminate this quantitative data or we can also keep it if it is useful for us in the dimension table itself okay so how many uh, active relationship we can have between two tables in data modeling in power bi we can have one active relationship can we have multiple inactive relationships also along with an active relationship yes we can have multiple so suppose you have two tables okay and both of those two tables are connected with suppose id column okay so id column is common between them and you are creating a relationship between them but that id column its data type is text when you have loaded that in power query so are you fine with this to create the relationship like this or will you do something else to have a better relationship between these two tables it is fine actually because the id uh, maybe sometime contains some uh, numer- alphabetical values inside also id column contains numerical values okay but it's uh, again it is still fine because the id column is uh, unique in the nature in the dimension table so it will not create any problem so you will keep the data type of id column as it is as, as text and yes. you will create the relationship okay so are you sure yes. with your answer yes so uh, what about dax like what all dax functions you have utilized till now i have used uh, dax functions like calculate uh, sum filter uh, switch function if uh, conditions if function then uh, selected value as one value Uh, okay suppose uh, you have a fact table and uh, you have to calculate the total sales value only on like which is actually happening only on weekdays so how will you generate that measure which will get that value where the sales is only happening on weekdays so suppose you have to put that in the card visual so how will you uh, generate this dynamically so uh, in this case we can create one another column called as weekdays so it will uh, identify only weekdays as a weekday so by using the calculate function we can sum this uh, all the sales only when the uh, this particular column contains weekdays in it so and how will you generate the, this uh, new column as days uh, we can generate it in uh, power query editor power query itself by using uh, conditional uh, by adding a add column feature in it what is the use case of all dax function all dax function can be used to uh, bypass the uh, natural context uh, natural filter filter contexting of the power power bi so in in some case few cases if we don't want to uh, want the our dax function to follow the uh, natural filter context of the power power bi so we can uh, use all function and specify some uh, columns in it so which we need to uh, bypass and okay uh, how is it different or like how all dax function is different from remove filters dax function remove filters i have not used so i am not sure about it what is the use case of a summarized dax function summarize uh, means i don't know about summarize more detail so what, what so does it finish. what does it return what does summarize function return i don't know summarize okay suppose uh, you have a bar chart okay and uh, you have uh, pulled products on the x axis and you have total revenue on y axis okay and your product names contains value like a b c d okay it has values like a b c d but when you pulled uh, power products on x axis you found that the arrangement of the values is in different order like you found c d a b like this for example consider this order so how will you make this order correct because we want the values to be shown in right order means a b c d like this so but it is uh, by default it is coming in different order how will you uh, like solve this kind of scenario okay so for this scenario we can uh, group the uh, means sorting of this uh, alphabets in the abcd order we can either choose uh, ascending order for, for it and we can either choose it directly from the visualization visual we are creating uh, by clicking the three dots uh, above it or we can uh, go in the um, f- format pane of the power bi where uh, wherever we have added this particular column in the line chart so also from there also we can uh, set it as a ascending order okay now let me twist it a bit so now you don't have values like a b c d now you have product a product b product c product d now your answer won't work now how will you handle this 
so okay, for this case i will add uh, one more column in the table and for this column i will uh, specify hard code hard code like for the product a uh, i will specify value like 1 for product b i will specify it, uh, as a 2 and like that similar manner and after hard coding that i i will use that uh, next newly generated column to sort this uh, values in a uh, ascending order okay can you give the use case of a line chart in which particular case you will prefer a line chart okay so uh, in particularly we, if we want to show the represent data in a time on the time uh, timely basis we can prefer uh, line chart so how the performance is going of, of uh, any particular product in in a particular year we can use line chart okay and uh, how will you differentiate between a report level filter and a visual level filter okay so uh, report level filter are applied to the whole report so whenever uh, like uh, if we add some slicers into into our report and we change some slicers so all the visuals in the report will be ch uh, changed but visual uh, level report uh, filter is kind of applied from the filter pane in the power bi uh, interface itself so that on the particular uh, visual only this filters gets applied okay for example there is a visual and you put one filter as a visual level filter the same filter you are using in, in the report level filter also like the same column for example you put a visual level filter as country equal to india in as a visual level filter but the same column we have to use in report level filter also and there we are utilizing filter equal to means uh, country equal to us for example usa now in this case which filter will retain will report level filter retain or or both the filters will retain okay so uh, the power bi will retain the means both the filters firstly it will so that uh, means you are saying in the visual level filter you will find values related to country india but other than that visual all the other visuals will contain the report level filter where country is equal to usa right this is what you are saying yes yes right okay are you sure with your answer yes so suppose you have to schedule the refresh of a new report okay how will you do that in power bi service Mm, okay so i will firstly go to the cementing model of the power bi uh, uh, service in the work, workspace then after clicking the three dots in the, and going to the settings i will go to the refresh option is there and after uh, going to the refresh options i will uh, choose refresh as uh, likely as uh, daily basis weekly basis or monthly basis as per the requirements so if i have to talk about premium license so can i say to you uh, hi kunal do you have premium license is it the right sentence mm, it is wrong actually because uh, premium level licensings are offered at a organizational level for the capacity of the employees okay that means at the workspace level right yes at the workspace level so suppose uh, you have a workspace and you have different level of accesses right you have viewer level access contributor member admin right what is the difference between member and contributor level access okay so the main difference between member and contributor is that member can view the dashboard and it, he can also add some new uh, reports in the dashboard but he cannot edit the previously uh, created dashboards but while the uh, contributor can also edit this dashboards among with viewing and adding some uh, reports in it. so can a contributor delete a power bi report no he cannot delete what kind of data sources you have used uh, in power bi i have used excel sheets uh, csv files and also uh, sql uh, import import data bases import mode so is there any limitation of uh, pulling the data in import mode or in power bi using sql database i uh, i don't uh, think it uh, there is a limitation but but it's also saves the data into our system while using the import mode and what is the limitation of data while pulling the data from excel file or csv file i don't know specifically about any limitations okay any recent challenge that you have faced that you want to mention and which you overcome or like yourself okay so uh, while uh, working on my project i came uh, faced one challenge in the while importing in the uh, data from S sql only so when i was uh, creating my uh, uh, report in the power bi i solved some few questions but after a particular four to five questions i got stuck in between because my answer and the validation data set were not matching among itself so i uh, after some uh, iterations and after doing some checking relationships uh, all the experts i found uh, error that uh, the data which i imported uh, from the sql was not completely imported means uh, up during the import some error happened and the 
half data was only able to get in, imported into into the uh, uh, power bi desktop okay so uh, yeah Okay, Kunal. So I'm done from my side. Thank you so much for attending this mock interview. So, guys, please let me know in the comment box if he answered the questions correctly, or if you have, or if you have any better answers for the questions that he answers. Do let me know in the comment box. Thank you.